Hi, I'm Lanita Medina from Camden, Maine, and it's scrapbooking with Lanita time. Are you ready for something super fun using the Autumn Harvest collection of paper and embellishments and the notebook? Oh, I'm at the notebook border maker cartridge. That camera stuff that's all backwards, that's a little confusing, huh? So first of all, I need to tell you, Thank you for scrapping your Lanita time. That's what time it is. And I'm very excited to bring you this idea. So I'm just going to bring you right to the idea and get started here. I'll move that off so it's not annoying just because I want to just say hi and welcome you. So I have a couple of samples here, but I'll start with this one. And first I'll show you how to make it and then I'll show you some of the other variations. Now, if you notice, this really does look kind of like leaves and or pieces of leaves. And um, I think pretty sure it's on the I'm looking around for my stickers from the autumn harvest. Let's see. Here we go. Look at this. Doesn't it look kind of like that? I think it does. So anyway, Autumn Harvest has some very fun, very fun, pretty things. And so the one I'm going to work on, on today is using vellum. Uh, the paper, the vellum paper is thicker. If you were to touch it, it doesn't feel as much like vellum, except that it's shinier. It also has a side that has more color and then one that doesn't. So that's nice. This one, I have not played with this particular one, but I do know for a fact that Pam Wynn is making something for CCI, which is coming right up September 15, 16, 17. And she's making something with this one that is super, super pretty. I probably should, let me just see. Yeah, so that is, that's the Autumn Creative Cafe International, and this is the link to register. So I'll just put that up there now while I'm talking about this vellum because I want to remind you about it. So all these vellums are super pretty. Now, let me just show you this piece here. So I am combining the vellum from the Autumn Harvest and some paper from the Croptoberfest collection. And there were a couple of choices that I thought of, but look at this, this is super pretty, but sometimes people will say, well, it's just very busy. So if you put this vellum over it, it really allows you to use the whole thing, but it mutes it a little bit. And, um, and then what happens is you see the, the design behind it and I'm just going to grab my tool here so see the trees show up not as much that much the owls but the trees show up really nicely the other option that I had thought of for today was is this one now uh this is totally good by itself but this kind of changes it, doesn't it? It just makes it a little more orange or tan. So those are the, those are the two that I thought that I would do, use with this one. But take a look at this. This is a fun one too. So the vellum looks like this. And this is the paper. But if I put the vellum on top of it, oh, you know, I'm really tempted with this one. I wonder if it would turn out. Well, let's see. Ooh, I had decided which one I was going to use, and now I'm wavering. <laughs> you know, I think I think I'm going to. Oh boy, why am I so indecisive, huh? Okay. Um, I am going to go with this one because this will show up, show this behind it, and I can always switch it to that one. All right, that was a tough decision. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put this right there because I want you to see that part while I'm working on this. So this this will be the background. This will be the background. This is what I'm going to cut. So the first thing is um, scoring. And 
a lot of times it's hard for me to remember to put the scoring blade in and I'm going to score it at one half of an inch. So my half inch is there. Make sure that I'm up against the edges so that it's even. And the vellum, like I said, is thicker. And I did, I did just switch my mat out. So I have to go back and forth several times because my mat isn't groovy. If the mat is groovy, sometimes it'll cut. Oh, I had that one a little bit too fucked up there. It will cut through it, the vellum. And I don't want to cut through it, but I want to make sure I have a nice, nice line that I can fold. All right, so this is just a bit of time on that. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm going to fold all these. That way when I'm ready to punch, it will be a lot quicker because they're all folded. You can, you can see how it's, um, it's almost like wax paper, but thick, not parchment paper. Um, it's, I'm going to say it's easy to work with, but it is thicker. Okay. So what I like about the thicker part is that it really does show through to the underside and yet it has its own personality too. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's my wording for it. All right, so since this is already folded, I'm gonna go with that. And then I'm using the formula of putting a fourth of a piece of a strip here on my holder or my extender of the border maker. Um, now this is the housing, so let me empty that out first. And so this piece is going to have that so that it, so that I don't go beyond that mark. So I'm going to put it right up against there. And there we go. So I'm skipping, I'm skipping the, the first one and the last one. So I'm gonna go slow because it can catch, especially when I'm getting towards the end. So I'm pulling it out that way that because this will want to catch and then I'll open that up and fold this down and go on with that one. So all the way around. Sometimes I like to have part of it made already so that you, you know, you, it won't take a lot of your time. But in this case, um, to start halfway through would be a little bit harder. So because uh, you need to see the whole process. Okay, and there's that. And then this, I'm gonna press it just a little bit more. And you're kind of seeing what's happening on the side here, right? A little notebook. And this notebook cartridge just came out with the, the Back to School collection, which has a lot of sports things or school-related things. I haven't had sports stuff in a while, and I love the notebook punch, actually, but I wanted to do something different with it, like totally not notebook related, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm opening it up. There's that. And this last one. Skip. skip that and this not skip this one All right so now this is the last one and this is where it tends to want to catch so just know to go slow go easy and I purposely didn't adhere anything on that because it would need the vellum adhesive 
and I go sparing on that also. So I want you to notice all these little pieces here. Aren't they so fun? So this is what I was saying, that these look like that little oh, sticker piece I showed earlier that looks like a flower. Well, let's see if I can open it here. These are really, these are really um, tougher ones. <laughs> it's like it's scrunched up. There you go. Isn't that fun? So you can do stuff with that too. Um, I think I kept, yeah, just, just as a little side note with another color, I made this using leftovers of these. So you're just putting them around like that. Anyway, opened up, of course, but you can do that with with these. That's just a little side note. I was worried I was going to forget to show you that part. Okay, so here we go. Oh, you can I have this color from before, too, so you can mix the colors just kind of like I did on that other one. Can you even see those? I don't know. Anyway, you saw the other one. So, all right, now open all these up. And the side that I want to use is this side. This is the the side that has more brightness on it. So let's see how it looks on this. Ooh, I wonder. Maybe that's a little too busy, huh? Or not, not enough coming through. So I liked how this one was because this was dark with a big contrast here so that seems like not such a big contrast so let me look at this one and see how this one looks that seems like a better contrast i really did like the owls but this is a good contrast here uh the other thing it can go this way well i guess if you turn it it's going to be that way anyway so so there's that part now before i tape it down i want to show you a couple of options on this um I like to say, don't let this part bother you here, that, that it has folds, because that just gives it dimension. In fact, I purposely folded it upward so that it would give a little bit of dimension. But if you prefer, you can, you know, fold them downwards and get that to go down. Now, the other thing you can do is... Um, you can take this. Oh, by the way, they like to look at them all in there. They like to, they like to um, hang out here. Look at them all. <laughs> These are just all stuffed in here, aren't they? I better get those out. So the next time I punch, there. I think it's. Oh no, there's one more in there. Good to know about that part. There. All right. Now, right here you can fold and make another little punch. I kind of like that look, but let me show you this other one because I did it, this is another experiment one. So here is this one with the punch there and left out or not punched. And then just a little, a little square cut out there. Okay, so this is another option. I need to pull this up a bit, huh? Uh, so yeah, so that's another option if you like that better. I like it that there are choices. So let me show you how to do this one. I'm going to fold it forward. Actually, I'm going to fold it backwards because I liked it backwards better. And just fold it so that you have equal amounts on both sides. And again, this is a guess. Because this is this is also a guess. When you put this in here, it's a little bit hard to see where to cut. Um, in fact, I still have some pieces in here. Look at that. They hadn't all gotten out. Okay, maybe I can see better now. Let's try. The other colors are, of course, easier to see. See how these kind of like to catch? So, you know, just kind of be gentle with them. All right, so I am going to just try and get the round part of this. And let me just see, see if I am pretty much, see how I'm going in, like right where I feel like it's the scent where, uh, where it, it's equal on this and this side. And then I'm hoping to just go down and keep it level so that I can, or even, so that when I go in, it will 
get what I want. Now, this is a part where it's a little hard to see, but I have the round, the round part in the paper, but the the little leggy part is not in the paper. So I just want to get just the little round part. Let's see how I do. Okay, so that's the little round part. Oh, that's pretty even. Then when you open it, that's how it can look. Okay, or you can close it up just like I did the other one. And you can do two sides. You can do one side. Um, you could do opposites, whatever you want. I think I'm going to make this one even just like I did the other one. Just so you can see it one more time. And then the others make sure there's no. So there we go. Even it up right there. And then I'm going to push back, knowing that it's a little hard to get it in there and get it even. But you can practice. Practice on scrap paper. That's what I did. Lots and lots of scrap paper. There we go. I think that's it. Okay, so see, I got it in a little farther, and that's what happens when you get it in a little farther. So just not quite even, but if you if you do this, it will show, and that's kind of fun. If you do this, it won't, but it gives it a little bit of the jagged edge. All right, now, taping it down. So you don't need to tape down a lot. And on the vellum tape, I feel like if I stretch it a bit, and then that one won't show up much. Just a bit of stretching, and I'll do the other tape just so you can see what that will look like. That's going to be here. I'll show you both. And that's just going to be a little bit there. And the thing is, because you can take it off if you don't like it. So there's this. Up we go. I keep, I keep bringing it down, huh? Down to where my tools are. Okay, so there we go. So there's that. And it's all taped down. And you can see here, oh, I didn't realize that that was, did I just put that up there and not take it off? I think maybe I moved it. I hope that wasn't up there the whole time. See how it shows up a little bit, the tape? Okay, and this one shows a little bit, but not much, the vellum. Okay, and you can kind of scrape it and then it then it goes away. So those are some ways to, I'm going to bring this down a bit because I keep, I keep pulling it up. Uh, so those are some of the ways to um, to get it taped down. Now, if you feel like you just don't like that wet look, you can take it off. It's totally see that's the nice thing about the the repositionable. You can just take it right off. Now I'm going to put a little bit of the vellum here just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and see if you like that or if it shows because you already have a white crease there anyway, so I don't mind any of that. But, all right, now to decorate. So lots of decorations, like I said, there are these, which is so amazing. I've already used some from here, but wait, look at the back. I still have stuff on the back I can use. And there are stickers. I love the stickers too. So I can just decorate with a lot of fun stuff here. But being that this is kind of a simple page, um, or I should say a simple page, I want the decorations to be in the corners or up top so that this can be the highlight there. But you could do whatever. Now, looking at the blue there, uh, it could have something like this on the corner, okay? And then perhaps a red leaf, like something like this peeking out. Just something like that would work. Let's see, would that work? Or does that look a little bit? And then a little quote, a little saying. Or it could have this up top here. And it could have this up top here. 
highlighting that up there, right? So there's that. And then um, I'm crooked again up here. Oh, well, it's crooked. So uh, that's okay, I guess. And then perhaps a little, you, know, you can have a little pumpkin in the corner if you want. We do like to have things in threes or uh, fives or one. So that could be there. You can just embellish however you want. Isn't that fun? So now back to the one that I made to show you here earlier. This one, um, thinking of decorating it. I'm going to try and straighten this out a little bit. Here are Here is a way that I would choose to put mats on this. I wanted you to see the vellum. That's why I left it. But um, let's do that one for that one. I the pumpkin papers underneath, so I think it would be really pretty to put a, put a mat there. Oh, by the way, on this one, I used the white chalking pen to do the little dots, and I think that adds a lot to it. Same on this side. I love the dots, and then these are stickers here. So if I were to want to decorate that one, I can I cut this mat down that has a little bit of the journaling. And so, so this had just a little bit of the blue there that was right with that. So that is there. It could also go this way. Okay. Doesn't have, it doesn't matter that the thick part is down here. Anything that is, that is a good thing. So depending on how you decide you want it, there's that. And then this and the little pumpkin there. So then let's put that down there there and I'll just go ahead and I'll just go ahead and adhere those just so that you can see how it looks finished there's that one I I do love the mat so um at the creative cafe international weekend I'm going to teach hi hi my name is Matt and I keep wanting to tuck it under here. I guess I stuck it too much, huh? And anyway, I'm going to do the birthday set. To see if I can get that under. Well, I can't. So we will. I will just let it be like that instead of taking time here. And then there's that. And then uh, I love the pumpkins, but obviously you're going to put paper on it or pictures. I mean, so this would be like where your pictures can go. And um. To me, that just looks really elegant and really pretty and full, right? So there you go. Oh, let's just let's just bring this one forward too. Here, I'll show you this one again. So there's that one, and one that's like this. It is a little simpler. Can be. Um, if I do this, if it'll straighten it out a little bit. I know it just bugs me when things are crooked. It could just be simply something like this. So a little longer one for bigger picture, a little shorter one. And then you can just have some journaling under here. So, um, so it's fun, simple ways to decorate these pages. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for playing with me on Scrapbooking with Lanita. And if you need any of these new supplies, my website will be right underneath the posting and uh yeah i guess i didn't i didn't put any of those on if you're looking for discontinued product scrapbookingwithlanita.com has a ton of discontinued product and i want to thank you for scrapbooking with Lanita today and let's exit solo so i can say goodbye i think i can exit it let's see there we go okay thanks for scrapbooking with me today and I will see you hopefully on Five Minute Friday because I have it right back here. I don't know if you can see something back here, but that's going to be a Five Minute Friday look. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.